guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, we're going to be transforming into a fairy slash elf, I guess. Um, I knew I kind of wanted to do something in the like fairy elf or fairy elf realm, <laughs> something like that, but I just kind of, I don't know, I just kind of went with it and let my creative ability like go and do its thing. So I honestly had no like idea on how this was going to turn out or how I really wanted to do it but um, I kind of just like freehanded everything and just like kind of let it flow from my mind I guess and this is what we came up with and I actually really like how it came out I think it looked really good all I did was put some tape on my ears just because <laughs> for the purpose of the video I felt like it was kind of cool I don't have any like elf ear attachments or anything like that so I just used what I had and I don't know it was kind of cool so I mean a last minute costume if you wanted to do something like this you could just put some tape on your ears and you're an elf I got these like antler things from Walmart and they came on like a string and I just put them on a headband and I like them and then I don't. So like if you want to be like a fairy with horns or like antlers, like, that would be cool. You could do that too. If you haven't been keeping up with my Halloween series, I'll have that linked in the description below and you can also click in this little corner right here and there will be a playlist of all of my Halloween videos. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn your post notification bells on as well. That way you don't miss any of my videos coming up. But without rambling anymore, if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, we're going to moisturize our skin and then we're going to go ahead and move on to primer. For primer, I'm going to be using the NYX Pore Filler Primer. I actually really love this stuff. I've been using it in almost all of my videos. It's great. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and glue down the tails of my brows. Now, this step is actually optional. I mean, you don't have to do this at all, but I wanted my eyebrows to be very pointed. So once I kind of glued them down, I'm going to go ahead and set that with some um, Ben Nye Colorless Translucent Powder. And then right after that, we're going to go ahead and jump into the face. So I'm going to be using my White Snazaroo Face Paint to basically highlight, um, kind of like I did in my video when I did um, Chucky's Bride. Um, because I want my foundation to be very light, I'm going to go ahead and put white underneath my foundation. That way we are highlighted underneath. <laughs> How many times can I say underneath? But yeah, that's basically all I'm doing here. And then I'm going to go right on top of it with some foundation and then just blend that out. And then you'll be able to see that it just blends beautifully. And I'm also going to add some foundation to the tails of my brows to kind of conceal them. I actually wish I would have put a little bit of like, um, what is it, like the color corrector on my brows because they're kind of dark and you end up seeing them later in the video and so it was kind of pointless to conceal them anyways, but <laughs> that's why I said it was optional. And here I'm just going to go ahead and blend some foundation down my neck as well because we want to match our face to our neck. Now, since I am an elf, I just went ahead and taped some tape around my ear to give like a point. And then I'm just going to go over the tape with some foundation to get it to match. And I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cute. And it was just a quick little hack to get the elf ears. <laughs> but I'm also going back with some more white face paint just to highlight a little bit more. I felt like it kind of went away once I put the foundation on. So I'm just going to add some more and then blend that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and set everything with that same Ben Nye colorless powder. So now I'm going to move on to the brows. I first started using my um, Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown, but I think mine's drying out, so it just wasn't working for me. 
So I ended up switching to a dark brown eyeshadow, and this is what I meant by the color corrector. So I didn't do this on the other brow, but I'm doing this here, and it worked out a lot better. I just wish that I would have done it underneath the setting powder, you know what I mean? But here I'm just um, concealing it with some more foundation, and then just gently tap that out. And then once you have your brow filled in, you just want to take some foundation or concealer and clean up around the edges. I was really annoyed by like that little brow that you can see hanging at the tail. <laughs> But next for the eyes, we're going to move on to the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm using the shade Jax. And I'm just going to take a flat elf brush and basically carve out my crease. Um, and at the ends, I kind of want it to flare up to go towards my temples. Just take your time on this step. Um, and don't be afraid if it gets a little messy because we are going to be cutting our crease to clean it up. Once you have that first shade down, we're going to move on to the shade Roxanne. And I'm just taking a blending brush and blending out that first shade and yeah, just smoking this entire crease out. And I also concentrate it right here near my nose and like my brow. I just think it looks a lot better. Next, we're going to move on to Central Park and I'm taking a pencil brush and running this throughout my crease, making sure to keep it on the lower half of my crease because I want that gradient effect. And this is really going to pop once we cut our crease as well. And here I'm just taking a flat wet and wild brush and some foundation and just cutting my crease. Um, be sure to take your time on this step because it's very easy to mess up. But for the next step, we are going to be dipping back into Jax and taking that e.l.f. brush again and concentrating this on the lower lash line. But on the inner part of the eye, I kind of angle it down to give the front of my eye a wider appearance. And then we're also going to take this on the outer part of the eye and just do a straight line vertically towards the hairline. I wanted to give this bottom lash line a really kind of harsh edge, like as if it were a straight line just from the side of my face down to my nose. But we're going to take, um, what, what was that, Roxanne? <laughs> we're going to take Roxanne and then take a blending brush and just blend that down. Next, we're going to go back into Central Park and then pack that on the very edge just to give it a gradient effect as well on the bottom. We're basically going to be using these three shades all throughout the face. Um, so yeah, everything I do, I'm just going to be referencing those three shades. And then going back in with some foundation, I'm going to be cleaning up that line to make it very sharp. And then I kind of messed up on the inner corner, so what I did to fix it was just take a super tiny brush, pick up a little bit of Central Park, and then just blend that there so it can create a harsh line. Next, I'm going to dip into Queen, and I'm going to pack this right in the center of the lid. And then I'm going to pick up the Diosa palette from Joanne's Beauty and pick up that silver shade and pop that right in the inner corner. I'm also going to be bringing this down 
to my lower lash line a little bit um, just to really make this part of my eye pop. Then taking the Dark Lust palette from Joanne's Beauty and that super dark brown, we're going to pack this on the outer corner of the eye. And then I'm just going to be blending this into that queen shade and then blending it out towards my temples as well. I'm also going to take that brown and pack it on the lower lash line just on the edge of this line we created. Next, I'm going to be taking my NYX white eyeliner and just adding some graphic lines to my eye and some dots. I'm going to go ahead and line my water lines with some black eyeliner to really smoke out the entire look. And then I'm going to quickly go back to my brow bone and pick up that silver shade from the Diosa palette again and just highlight right underneath that brow. And for lashes, I'm going to be popping on these in the style Puebla from Joanne's Beauty's Lash Book. And now we're going to go ahead and do the other eye. Boom. <laughs> I also did my hair and I added a little bit more tape to my ears to make them more pointy so you could see them through my hair. And now we're going to be moving on to the rest of the face. So I'm taking this flat brush and I'm going to be using it with some of that Jax from the Jaclyn Hill palette and just drawing a triangle an upside down triangle on my forehead I thought this would match the lines that we did or near my nose so I'm basically doing the same things that we did on our eyes starting off with Jax and then moving on to Roxanne and then finally with Central Park just to deepen everything up And once you have it blended to your liking, you want to go ahead and take some more foundation and just clean up those lines. I had these like gold little rhinestones so I thought they would look cute and I wanted to put them on my forehead so I just basically followed the edges and placed them on and they already came with like a little adhesive on the back of them so I didn't have to use any lash glue or anything like that. And to match the eyes, I'm taking that white liner again and just outlining this triangle. So it's time to move down to the rest of the face and I'm going to be making these cheeks pop. So again, we're using the same three shades, Roxanne, 
Jax and then Central Park. First I'm using Jax and I'm just kind of sketching out where I want my bone structure to be and then just kind of blend that out so it's not super harsh right there by your mouth. And then once you have that kind of dark enough, you want to go back in with some rock sand and a blending brush and just drag that down. You want that top line to be pretty harsh because that's what's going to make your cheeks really pop. I'm adding some white eyeshadow right here just to bring the top cheekbones forward a little bit more and then once we add some Central Park onto that like cheekbone right here, it's really going to make them come forward. Just keep blending everything until you're happy with how it looks. I also kind of brought it up a little bit more and rounded out that cheekbone because I felt like this just made it, I don't know, it made it look better when it was just kind of a harsh line that ended right there. I didn't really like how it looked, so that step is optional, but I think it added a little bit more. And then I'm just taking a stippling brush and making sure everything is blended out. I'm popping a little bit more white eyeshadow on the bottom of my jaw just to bring that forward as well. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So here I'm basically just kind of mapping out where the lines would go to make them as even as possible. To contour my nose, I'm picking up some of Roxanne on a blending brush and just drawing two vertical lines on my nose, but I'm keeping this at like the top of my nose kind of. I'm not bringing these lines all the way down because on the bottom of our nose, I'm going to be kind of rounding the tip of our nose and I just thought it looked better if these lines weren't, you know, completely connected. And then I'm going to be blending that out with Jax and just adding a little bit more to the tip of my nose. And here I'm just taking a blending brush and just kind of blending these lines together. Like I said, I didn't want them to fully connect, but when you blend it like this, it just gives the illusion that it's connected. And then I'm taking that silver shade from the Diosa palette to highlight my nose, and it's going to make it look super cute and super snatched. And to keep everything consistent in the entire look, I'm taking that white eyeliner again and just highlighting my cheekbones. I'm going back in with that silver shade from the Diosa palette and just we're going to highlight our entire face, basically. <laughs> I love this highlight so much, I had to take a drink for it. <laughs> I felt like it was looking a little bit too silver for me, so I'm going into the Dark Lust palette and picking up that really pretty golden shade and just kind of going over everything to kind of tone down that silver. Now for the lips, I'm going to be taking a really dark brown lip liner. Um, I believe this one is from NYX as well. I'm not sure, I don't really remember, but you could use any dark brown eyeliner that you have. 
and then I'm going to be filling that in with my L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paints in the shade Cinnabon. And that basically completes our look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Happy Halloween!